What have you been concerned about? Well, there are a number of media commentators, and with respect to Piers, for example, uh, he's got to really look at his language. Uh, when we saw in the aftermath of the London attack, just reflect on your language. I'm not saying nobody shouldn't say what they should be saying. Let's just be calmer. Let's look for language hang that on. brings oh, people on. together. Hang on. Because the uh, terrorists hang on, let me stop you there. Well, let me finish. Let, let, me, let, me, let me stop let me you finish. there. You're going to accuse me of sentence. using let inflammatory me language. Sentence. All I have no, ever I, said... I, I, all I've no, said after these terror attacks is I think it's incumbent on the wider Muslim communities to, ex to root out any extremists in their midst. This morning, after this attack on Muslims, I've used exactly the same language in exactly the same way to urge the communities which are housing these white extremists who want to do harm to Muslims and treat them exactly the same way. Right, so wh why do you have a problem well, with what I've been saying? I I'm... I'm glad... I'm OK, I'm glad to hear that, Piers. I'm glad that you've uh, said that, and I commend you for it. But all I'm saying is just look at your language. I'm saying that to everybody, what, including what myself. Language? Let's what language? What language? Stop talking Let's platitudes. Look at inclusive what language? language that brings what language? One of your, what one of your, language one of your, do you... What language one of your do you... Colleagues. OK, well, let me tell you. One of your colleagues, one of your colleagues on the Daily Mail, for example, Katie Hopkins. She's a commentator Sorry, what's that got to do who with always me? perpetuates... What's that got to do with me? Before. Well, she's a colleague. You she's told a colleague me, of yours you on the Daily Mail. You just have said... You ever, have you, have wait a minute. Have you ever, wait a minute. Have you ever condemned her? Listen, have you, Piers, I've got have nothing you to do with her? Katie Hopkins, uh, all right? You said that I okay, had used language... Well, well, you said I had used language which you found offensive I'm, in relation to uh, Islamic no, terror attacks. Tell me what the language was. I'm... I'm saying we need to reflect on our language. So you said my all language. Us, what did okay? I say? All of us. Spell out, and I include spell you, out Piers. what you, you think didn't I huge, said. You didn't... Well, Piers, let me... It'd be great to get a sentence in before you interject. Well, why don't you stop uh, talking you nonsense? Are, uh, you are a, a very... You're a very influential figure uh, within British society. And with that uh, influ influence comes responsibility. All I'm saying to you is, from the conversations I've been having with young Muslims in this country, they feel that commentators should just reflect on their language. And I hope that you and everybody else takes that in a positive way. I'm expressing that. Yeah, you know, people could, are hurting. Yeah. We're hurting from Manchester. We're hurting from London. We're hurting from the Grenville Tower attacks. We just want people to come together and reject hate from whatever side it comes from. Yeah, I, I wish you that if you're going to make inflammatory statements about my language, you could actually produce a single example of the language you're talking about and not start spewing I'm, I'm about other people. You but anyway, well, maybe let me move back, back to... Articles. Yeah, whatever. Let me we'll move back, back to it. Let me, just don't say stuff you can't back up.